Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors. This is Odie, known to you all as Starstream1988. And welcome to my channel, and thank you for stopping by. So today is Tuesday's Toy Haul. Uh, this is week 27th, and this is my 13th Toy Haul of the year. Uh, so it's only um, two weeks ago since I last did my Toy Haul, so I'm pretty uh, on track. Um, everything that I'm about to show you today is two weeks worth. Um, except for the end, um, in terms of comic books that I'm going to be showing you at the end, that's a whole month's worth. But I'm still pretty much on point considering that two weeks ago what I showed you was a lot of old stuff. Um, so yeah, so the first things you will see are some toys, well, obviously my Lego bricks here. Um, some, then some action figures, then some Hot Wheels, and then I'm going to finish it off with um, some comic books to show you guys what I had for the run. For, for this remaining of basically the whole month of um, June. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So one thing that's pretty cool, um, I always like to at least get one set of bricks once a month. And it's been pretty good. It's pretty much, it seems like I've been able to get at least one set, whether it be my my favorite, which are the Creos, because of the Transformers and stuff like that, G.I. Joe, uh, my Legos here, or even sometimes Mega Bloks, because I do like Mega Bloks too. They, they make some pretty cool stuff too. So luckily, I was really um, I was able to get this for for awesome steel. I didn't have anything in the DC universe yet, uh, but as you can see there, it is a clearance item. So please run to your targets and see if you can find this. If you don't have it, as you can see, was forty nine ninety nine half off, insane. Um, I already had a five dollar um, target gift card, which I got for free for purchasing one of the items that I will show you here in a minute. And then obviously I use my target red card, which I save an additional five percent. So basically, I, I, I almost I save five five percent uh, on my Massachusetts sales tax. Uh, sales tax here in Massachusetts is um, six point two five, so six point twenty five percent or whatever. So it's still low. So I only pay one point twenty five for my taxes and stuff, which is great. So I got this for an awesome awesome steal. So that's very very cool. So again, that was the Lego uh, Superheroes um, Superman Battle Smallville. All right, so put that to the side. Um, let's stick with superheroes. Um, nothing else for DC though, unfortunately. We'll bring this down. Next item we got here is, as you can see, is Spider Woman or Spider Girl maybe. Um, this is the last one that I needed to finish um, the um, building of... Um, ultimate um hobgoblin there which is pretty cool not hobgoblin yeah I'm goblin sorry not hobgoblin goblin and um yeah so i am 100 percent done so hopefully i'll be able to do a video pretty soon and i'll, I'll show you all these guys that i've never actually showed you any um, i still have them all in package so what am i missing i'm still missing carnage um and i'm missing now black cat and i actually have both of these guys here um, and obviously the, the the regular three that seem to be the most common now. At first, I didn't think it would be too common, but because of the movie, he is pretty common now. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. There you go. Next, we have some Guardians of the Galaxy here. And I actually picked these up um, literally two weeks ago. Um, and I lucked out. I was paying for some stuff. And um, I see um, the girl... Be, be behind like movies and boxes there was two 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 young ladies at the register and um i said oh well, can i see that box and she's like absolutely i'm like are you holding it for someone and she's like no i'm not holding it for anyone they just sometimes put stuff like that here and i'm like yeah i gotta really start looking more um <laughs> in the front <laughs> I, I should um save um you know I, I should save some of my purchases for when i'm here in the front and uh, she goes, yeah, yeah, sometimes we put some of these hard-to-get items here because we don't want people stealing them. I'm like, oh, very interesting. So I'll have to check. Um, that was Gamora, obviously. Here's the man, Rocket Raccoon, with his boy Groot, the biggest um, piece. So, yeah, so I asked her if I could look in the box. Obviously, there's eight in the box. Um, the two copies were obviously um, Star Lord and I believe it was Iron Man. And obviously, I didn't need two of those guys, so I just grabbed the six that I needed, and that was it. I asked her first for the price, and she said, Oh, they're $25.99. 
I'm like, oh God, they're so expensive here in Toys R Us. She's like, oh, we'll match anyone. So she herself actually um, checked her app on her phone and she said, oh, Target and um, Amazon sell them for $19.99. I said, perfect, ring them up. Um, the part of hardest, this is the hardest one, I guess, to get is Nova. He's actually a pretty good looking figure too. It's pretty cool. And last but not least, the least liked it seems. Um, seems like everybody on eBay is trying to get at least five dollars for him. <laughs> is the Iron Man? So there you go. So that's a full set of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> um, next, we'll kind of stay with some superhero love here. A little bit different kind though. Um, I was able to go to my local Target actually this week, and I was able to, able to find the movie Turtles, as you can see there. Very, very nice. I'm actually pretty impressed with these. Uh, I've seen a lot of pretty cool reviews out there. Obviously, I'll give you my take and uh, kind of go from there. But that's the first full line. There's eight figures. I did not get all eight. Um, I was tempted. Um, the only thing that wasn't there was Shredder. Um, so I didn't, uh, wasn't able to find a Shredder. And I thought of getting one. Um, actually, it's funny. I don't even own a Shredder for the... Nickelodeon um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I keep seeing them though. I really should grab one um, as I have a whole bunch of um, foot soldiers and I have a, f a whole bunch of um, mousers. Cause I'm, you know, I'm gonna, when I display them, I'm probably gonna try to make like a little scene. Um, but I have no shredder. I probably should grab a shredder. Um, that was Donatello, by the way. Here's Michelangelo. Very, very cool. Some people don't like the look of these. I actually do. I think they're cool. I like I like change. I don't mind it on the turtles. If it would have been really weird, I probably wouldn't have dug it. But I, I dig it. I really like this. Now, they did have Splinter um, for the Nickelodeon um, brand. I don't have a Splinter either. They're, sen they're you know, Sensei. They're Master. Um... I probably should pick up a splinter for that line and maybe I should go back and grab the splinter for this line, but we'll see. Uh, here's Raphael. He is, always has been my favorite and he is massive. He's the, um, he must be, he's the weightlifter of, of the bunch because he towers over all of them. He's huge. So, pretty cool. We have another Ralph here, but this is the Ralph in disguise, which is pretty nice also. Seems to be the same exact toy, but obviously they put this over him. I don't know if he's um, kind of like a um, like a variant type of thing, maybe? Um, they were two on the shelf, and you know, it's funny, my friend, my buddy um, Dave told me, oh, you know, when you see him, snag him, because I think he's going to be the hardest one to get. And I thought of getting both, but you know, it's, it's turtles, and I like to um, share the love, and I, I don't sell anything on eBay or anything like that, so I, I left it on the peg. The next day, I went, and they were gone. All the movie turtles were gone, and um, like I said, there was two of these out. I just grabbed the one. Um, hopefully, it's not something that's going to skyrocket, but he's not even back here, so it almost seems like a variant, which is kind of cool, but we'll see. And then last but not least, uh, just like I did with the Nickelodeon collection, Picked up a couple of these guys here, some foot soldiers. If there would have been more, I probably would have grabbed at least one or two more, but no more than that, really. Um, so every turtle has a, a soldier to fight. So there you go. One of the, one of these is pretty man, pretty dinged up. It's this one, here, but whatever, I don't care because it's just gonna get opened anyway. So there you go. Uh, so on to my favorite line. Um, yes, that'll be Transformers. Um, this is the um, Thrilling 30 that has actually been out since, what, last April, May of last year? This is number um, 29 and 30, so it's pretty much done, guys. Um, the movie's out. The, um, the first episode air sometime in... I want to say, I think it was May or June. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the whole celebration. Now obviously, you know, they'll finish until the end of the year, whatever, but um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. This is, um, I, I love this, um, this um, Grimlock. One of my favorite modes for this classic line. 
Um, and then this one is from, I want to say, Dr. The Moon Optimus Prime. Of course, here they call him Silver Knight Optimus Prime. So, you know, they're pretty much using all the, the stuff from the new movie. Um, it's a chrome version of Optimus. You can only get this at Target, as um, the front of the sticker there said. It's kind of cool looking. You know, I'm a sucker for Optimus Prime, so I just had to get it. And um, throwing Grimlock there, it was a plus. Now, there is another box version of this at um, the local Toys R Us's. What they did was they used the mold for, um, I want to say, Evasive Optimus. But then they used the Grimlock from Cybertron or Energon, whatever. One of those, you know, Unicron Trilogy. Uh, modes. I wanted to pick it up really bad, but it was 45 bucks, and I thought that was ridiculous considering this was 20, $29.99. It's on sale for $24.99, and plus you get a $5 gift card. So that's where that gift card came in uh, on the you know on the beginning of the video when I was telling you that basically that Lego ended up costing me 20 bucks um, out of you know 50. But yeah, this is really really cool. I like this a lot. Um, I'm almost tempted to getting a second one, but. I've told myself no more doubles with Transformers as I've gotten rid of every single double that I own, unfortunately. Um, I just had to make room. Honestly needed some of the cash so I can buy more other, some other different toys. Um, so I no longer have doubles of everything, uh, especially Optimus Primes. So they're gone. Um, next we have, speaking of Optimus, Mashers. These have been pretty popular for me to um, review. Um, and honestly, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't mind them. I think they're okay, especially for the Marvel versions. Um, this is, there's two Optimus Primes out. I probably would have grabbed them both if they would have been colored different, but they seem to be exactly the same. The only difference is this is the Super Pack. Um, this one has a lot more weapons, um, and it has a light feature, as it's right here. And um, you can do an Ultimate Optimus Prime, which gives him extension of his legs and those rockets up there with some shoulder pads so the regular version uh, the $15 version does not come with any of that um, there is something that that version comes with this that you don't get here is the um, you do get the mace um, that he should did in that first um, one of the first episodes of you know in the, in the original show um, so unfortunately no mace here um, I don't really need it I don't care but um but yeah, so that's basically that. So there you go. And last but not least is Grimlock. I'm pretty interesting. I can't wait to crack this open and check, you know, and check it out and show, and show you guys review. It looks pretty cool. Um, obviously, a little bit more based on the movie version. Um, it seems to have kind of both. It seems to have a little bit of G1 exp uh, inspiration and some movie inspiration. So pretty cool so i can't wait to open him up and, and, and see what he's all about uh this was at toys r us basically buy one get one half off so i, I just jumped on it um i believe these retail for 25.99 so obviously the other one was like 13.50 or something like that so that's pretty awesome um next is go go power rangers <laughs> um i'm a i am here in Massachusetts, we haven't gotten Wave 2 yet, or at least I haven't seen it. But this is Wave 1 of these very, very cool, um, the Action Heroes. Um, these are the new 5-inch line. There was a company with the Super um, Mega Force um, that came out. That's the line right there. All eight of them. So that was Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin Green. I'm glad that they're doing some of the six Rangers. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I'll be honest. I mean, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't be able to. And I'll be, you know, I, I would probably miss a few too. Who knows? But I would love for them to do every single one all over again. Um, you know, if they were to do all six, all six members of each color for each show, I, I, I would be on board. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, there's Green Tommy. It would get very expensive though, obviously. Here's your Dino Thunder. Very, very nice. Your SPD Emergency. And me being a comic book guy, like I've said before in other videos, I do like the bulky superhero look. I don't mind it at all. 
I know a lot of people do. They're like, oh, you know, SH figure arts are the best. And you're right, they are. They, they're awesome. I, I, I pretty much own, uh, not all of them, but a good, a good amount of them. And uh, I, I would agree. But again, I don't mind the superhero look. There's your Samurai, very, very nice. There's your Mega Force. Pretty cool. And last but not least, your Robo Knight, your Six Ranger. So pretty, pretty cool. I believe the next wave um, has seven Red Rangers, and it might have the White Tiger, which is, I love the White Tiger. He's amazing. My favorite of all the Tommies. <laughs> um, speaking of Tommy, something that I found at the store, which is always, always hard to get. As a matter of fact, I mean, this probably came out close to a year ago, and I finally found one. Um, yeah, I have the Metallic Force Mighty Morphin White Ranger. Very, very cool. I only have one, so unfortunately, I won't not open it. Um, I've been I've been doing a, a separate collection of um, mint and box figures, especially 20th anniversary type or anything that's Mighty Morphin. And um, unfortunately, he won't get open. Not until I can find another one anyway. So, and again, this came out a year ago, so. But I was, I was fortunate enough to find that at a local Walgreens um, just a few days ago. So, it's pretty cool. We're not done with Power Rangers either. <laughs> um, next, we have the gigantic. <sighs> yes, the Q-Rex Megazord. Very, very cool. I will be giving you a review on this bad boy. Um, there was three available. I passed them up. Um... Because I was kind of in a rush and I, I didn't think I had enough money on me. Um, and I said, you know what, I'll take a chance to go the back the next day. I went back the next day, it was just this one left. So I snagged them. I snagged them quick. So, but yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this guy. Awesome. Ah, not done with the Power Rangers love here. Next we have the gray. <laughs> Six Ranger here, the Gray Mega Force, Super Mega Force. Uh, it's really silver, but you know, as everybody jokes around, it's gray. Um, he is still really cool looking, though. And again, I love these modes. I love these superhero modes, so I don't mind these. And just for good laughs, because when it comes to this type of um, collectible, I do like having two of each because I like to open one. Not all of them, because I don't. I, I don't. On the basic Mega Force line, I only have one of each. But when it comes to like a six ranger or Tommy, um, whether he's you know green ranger or white ranger, then I always do too. But um, yeah, these six rangers are really hard to come by. So I figure, you know what, I'll grab two of them myself. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to um, crack them open, review them. So you guys will be seeing him soon. Cool. Um, next we have some Hot Wheels. <clears throat> I finally found a fig rig, which I needed one because Again, I like my bricks. I like my Legos, my Creos, and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't have any of these in any type of incarnation. So I know this is the fifth color, maybe? Fourth or fifth color. Um, so obviously, got one to open and play with. Um, I grabbed number two and three, as I always keep a second and third mint in package in my... Um, in my special you know box that I have and um, so yeah it's pretty cool I also found by luck at that same um, Walgreens where I picked up the um, the White Ranger I found a yellow one um, I don't have any of these and originally I had passed on these uh, when they would come out in the shelves the reason was because uh, to be honest I didn't like it until I found out later what it was and then I was like ah I wish I um, I had one. So, but yeah, this is back from A case, um, uh, B case, sorry. So this came out a while ago, and like I said, there's been a couple of different colors. I believe there's a red version, yellow, and something else, and then the, the blue that you see there. So I gotta backtrack and try to find uh, some of some more of these guys. So I can't open them because I only found the one. So 
A couple repeats here again. Um, I showed you this on the last one, but I had a yellow smudge there. So now I have a, a, a nice version to actually open. Uh, what I do with my mistakes or smudges or anything that looks kind of messed up, there's a guy here in New England that he's um, uh, an heiress collector. So I save them for him and then I you know, try to get some good deals from him, things that I need. I uh, had to pick up another one of these because the one that I opened, um, the paint gets scratched really easy. So I figured I wanted to keep one in mint and box because this is a sick, sick looking Porsche. So I just had to get another one. Another cool vehicle from our other Mattel buddies here from Matchbox, the CTS-V. Of course, they're not calling it that. It's just the CTS, um, the coupe version. It's not the V, but still, though, it could be a V, I guess, if you wanted it to be. The, the wall, the grill would be different. But yeah, very, very cool. So I want to actually um, do a Cadillac garage review because I do have quite a few Cadillacs. So that'd be kind of cool. And uh, another one that I just had to get another repeat of just because it's my favorite year. 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport, the white one. I, I have one already, but I opened it. That was the, the first one that I showed you on the video. Nissan Skyline GTR R34. I didn't have this one. I kept passing on it. I don't know why. And um, finally, I saw it at Stop and Shop. I said, you know what? Let me just grab it now before I miss out on it. Um, but yeah, they did a good job on this. I mean, the, the R is very pronounced there. You can see well, nice color tampos on the tail lights. Um, yeah, this is just a sick little um, R34. I like the stripe. It's nice and clean. And then last but not least for these Hot Wheels is this BMW K1300R. I believe there's another color version of this. I really want to get it. I like the BMW bikes. I think they're pretty kick-ass. I think Ducatis are nicer. Don't get me wrong. But the BMWs are very, very sweet. Super expensive in real life, obviously. But they're very sweet looking. Very cool. Alrighty. So that was all the toys. As always, guys, thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos. And the only way I'm kind of saying that is because if you want to log off and you don't want to look at comic book covers, then I don't blame you. Uh, but yeah, next I'm just going to be showing you some comic books. <clears throat> I'll try to be quick on these. I haven't read most of them, but um, first one here, I'm going to do them alphabetically. Here's uh, Batman, uh, number 32. And this is part of the Zero Year Final Act. Pretty cool cover. Riddler has him trapped there in a spider web. Pretty nice. Batman Eternal, number nine. Beautiful, beautiful cover. This guy is good. I like his covers. Number 10. For those of you that don't know, this is a weekly book. So that's why I have so many. So it's not that I'm behind, per se. Um, my last comic book run was June 1st until a few days ago. Um, so I picked up everything that I needed then. And now this is everything that literally came out in June. And I think the first week of July. Because um, today is July 6th. <laughs> 7th, sorry. Um, Batman Eternal number 11. <clears throat> number 12. Very reminiscent cover of um, one of Jim Lee's. Um, covers that he did back when he was when he first did Hush which is pretty cool 13 a little bit more boring it's just Jim Gordon in jail 14. Earth 2 one of my favorite favorite DC books um, I love this book this book is awesome you guys if you haven't read it you really should check it out really should check it out number 14 Number 15, I am actually behind on this, by the way. 15. This one's going to be kind of tough. 15.1. And this is the uh, lenticular, uh, lenticular, sorry. I was going to get the regular cover, and I was like, you know what? For a dollar more, might as well get the, the nice one. And I just didn't want two. There's no reason to have two copies of it. I'm not that hardcore like I used to be. <clears throat> and. 
and 15.2. I don't know if there's any more point twos, but I really have to look into it. And this is Solomon Grundy, number one. And the other one, by the way, was the sod number one. <clears throat> um, features Ant, number five. This has turned out really good. The first issue was kind of tough, um, but I really, really like this book a lot. It's really cool. Number six. What's interesting about this, as I read it, it reminds me a lot of um, um, a year later, 52, I think it was, when DC started doing this, you know, the whole weekly thing. Um, it's still the year later, basically, when all the Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman are gone, disappeared. Um, and it seems to be the same thing here. Uh, there's no Batman, there's no Superman. Wonder Woman's still around, but th those two main heroes are not there. And um, if you haven't read it, you really should, because in the first issue, one of the major badasses um, of the good guys dies. I won't say who, because I don't want to spoil it yet. Maybe later on, when I get to like issue 20 or something, then I'll reveal who it was, just in case. That was eight. And number nine. Pretty cool. Next, we have... Injustice Gods Among Us Annual 1. I don't know how behind I am on this. I know I have issues 1 through 8. And um, I like Harley. Obviously, Lobo's the man, the main man. So I just had to get that. So I gotta, I definitely got to go back and see how behind I am on that. Secret Origins number 3. Pretty cool. Now to Marvel. Amazing Spider-Man number three. Pretty nice cover. I guess Black Cat. Uh, Black Cat. Um, yeah, Black Cat. She's uh, a bad guy now. Hope I didn't ruin that for someone out there. <laughs> um, she's always been naughty, but now she's kind of like just really pissed off with somebody for whatever reason. Number 16 of Guardians of the Galaxy. Awesome read. This is turning out really, really good. I really am, am enjoying this a lot. Hulk, number four. I kind of had to go back and grab this because last time I showed you one of these hauls, I had issue three. That's where I started at because issue one and two had sold out. So I was able to find a, uh, issue two. It's actually a third printing. That's how popular this, this damn book is. So I had to get it. I didn't want to pay the, the full... Um, premium price for just the first printing. I really don't care that much. So I just got a third print so I can at least read it because I haven't even read it yet. Kind of skimmed through it. Um, issue four. Interesting cover. And anything Warren Ellis writes is just usually good. So that's why I'm, I'm sure that that's why the book is so damn popular. People don't even care that the art is weird. And issue five. So I still have to get issue one, though, unfortunately. Original Sin, which is another great book. I like this book a lot. Okay. Issue four. We're already past the halfway point now. Issue five. Three more to go. And it's over. What is the unseen? Some of Hollywood's uh, big heroes there. Cap, Wolverine, Iron Man, Spider-Man. They all have their own movies. Pretty cool. Original Sins. Issue 1 of 5. This is kind of like a side story thing. This stars Deathlock, Young Avengers, and Lockjaw from the Inhumans. Pretty nice cover. Obviously, Avengers are always now um, front and center as they are now the main, um, you know, Marvel property because of the movies and whatever not. Original Sin 2. It used to be the X-Men back in the days, back when I was growing up in the 80s and the 90s. It was all about the X-Men. Original Sin number 2. Nice to see Black Knight back. I haven't seen this guy in years. Um, his action figure. I think I did a little review on his action figure quite a few months ago, so... It's pretty cool. This one is with him, still the Young Avengers, and Haruta Duck. Interesting. 
And second, last to not least, Rocket Raccoon issue number one. Pretty nice. I'm sure it's probably hilarious. Can't wait to read it. So that should be kind of cool. And last but not least, a something that all you Transformers fans should own. Um, it's really nice. I, you know, if you don't want, if you only care about the toys and you don't care about anything else other than the actual action figures, then maybe this book isn't for you. But this is really cool. This is by J. E. Alvarez. He's done some other works before. Um, this was printed quite a few years ago. I've seen some beat up copies and luckily um, they reprinted it again. So I was pretty stoked to have gotten a brand new um, issue at my 20% off, um, which I get at my comic book store, which is really nice that they give me 20% off on anything and everything I buy. Um, so that was really cool. So I just had to jump on it. I almost grabbed a used copy of this and I had to pay literally retail because my old boss, um, he just, you know, he looked it up on Amazon. He's like, oh, this book is worth like 60 bucks. So I was like, dude, I'm not giving you cover price on something that's like wrecked. And it really was. So I'm glad that they reprinted it. And I finally have one for myself. Now, why do I like it so much? Well, because I'll show you a couple pages. See, this shows you everything, guys. This is plates and other weird things like watches, you know, keychains posters games whatever look at this weird thing let me bring that up a little bit it's a camera transforms into a gun type of thing that's a different thing that doesn't that's not part of this um let's see what else we got over here they talk about everything at the time that this was done obviously um other than no action figures so if you are a hardcore Transformers fan, you just have to have everything. This book is a pretty good reference. Um, this is the um, the Tycho Transformers. They actually transform, which is pretty cool. I'm sure it's super, super hard to find now. Look at that. Transformers track set. With some Mustangs. Very, very cool. A train set. So there's a lot of really cool stuff here. Look at that a watch now some comics I believe it shows it shows you the full run all 80 um, issues of the Marvel most of the image stuff even the um, the hard to find covers which I own every single one of these bad boys so I'm pretty psyched about that <laughs> I might be missing actually one here I don't think I actually have that I definitely have that that's actually the back of that but yeah i own that that's pretty cool so that's awesome so comics then so you got some little action figures here these are really cool um i'm actually missing most of these but these are awesome though so yeah this is really cool guys uh, again if you're a transformers fanatic and you want to get everything other than just the action figures just like things like this 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 book is an awesome reference some statues I have all these statues these are pretty cool from hard hero actually I don't have them all I'm missing the best one I think just because these are all bust and this one was actually a statue I actually don't have this and I don't know if I can afford it now that's Unicron right there I think people usually now want like 250 300 dollars for it crazy luckily you know sometimes you see it for 150 uh, but you know when I see it for 150 I just don't have the money <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, just to kind of give you guys, so yeah, soft cover is thirty, hard cover is um, forty. I did get my twenty percent off. Um, this was printed back in. Trying to find the date here, nineteen ninety five? No. Produced before? No, he's talking about where it was produced. Um, oh well, I can't find it. Maybe it's in the front here. I think 2002, an unofficial 2002. Yeah, so 2002. So anything that had came out from then to 2002 is what um, he's showing you here. So again, guys, thank you as always. I know this was a huge, um, well, very long video, um, but it was, you know, two weeks in the making, literally. <laughs> so as always, guys, thank you, thank you so much. If you please like, if you like my video and you like the, my toy hauls, you want to see anything else um being reviewed uh, please holler let me know as always guys thank you so much again 
Please rate, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. You guys take care. Peace.